I just wanted to show you guys what we're going to be starting out with today. I've got um, an old used girl's bike here. Um, we're going to be taking just the front tire, a piece of strip metal, and a piece of particle board. As you can see, the front tire um, doesn't move too great, so I'm going to have to take that hub apart um, first thing. Alright, so the first thing we did was take off that front tire so I can get access to that hub and uh, so I can take it apart and clean those bearings. Um, so here it is now. I'm going to take this off. You can see all the bearings in there. I'm just going to take those out and scrub them, get all the gunk out, and uh, replace them. Alright, now I just took the end of the hub off. You can see how kind of gross it is. And then the bearings, how gross it's in there. So I'm just going to take them all out, um, scrub them, wipe out the inside of the hub, uh, re-grease with some white grease and uh, put it back together. Alright, just want to show you how disgusting all this looks right now. You can see all the goop all over the bearings, all over the shaft, and all over the housing. So what I'm going to do is just scrub all this and then I'll show you once it's done. Alright, now we've cleaned out the, the hub here, as well as the bearings. And then both ends here, you can see the big difference. I'm going to go ahead and reassemble it and add just a little WD-40 uh, for the lubrication. Alright, now that we cleaned uh, the bearings off really good and cleaned out the hubs, uh, put a good coating of WD-40 on there, reassembled it, and just want to show you the difference now. I don't know if you remember how it spun before, uh, but as you can see now it's A much uh, bigger difference. You can see that it's a little bit off balance. So once I take the tire uh, and the wheel off, um, hopefully it'll be a little bit more imbalanced. Uh, either way, you can see that it's definitely able to spin a whole lot longer uh, with a whole lot less uh, friction slowing it down. This will really help us out once we add in um, you know, the other components of the overbalanced wheel. I wanted just to leave this running for you guys because I know there's always people that ask or wonder about um, how it's able to spin with such a little weight difference. Um, that's a big part of it, is really having to scrub. You can see even just that little valve stem is making the bottom heavier and pulling it down there. So just the little difference of the valve stem, the weight of, of that right there, is, is bringing it down to the bottom of the wheel. And I'm going to go ahead and spin it again and, and show you uh, that it is a valve stem, just that little bit of plastic and metal that's making it stay down there. You see the valve stem going around now. You'll actually see it uh, slow down and stop down on the bottom. Seeing as that's now the heaviest part of the wheel. There you go. Now you see it. All right, I just took the tire and wheel off, um, so now it's just the rim. I'm going to spin it to show you just how much better it is now. And you'll also see that it's just a little bit in need of uh, a tune. So I'm going to be playing with the, the spokes to try and improve that a little bit. And the next thing I'll do after that is I'm going to build a new, um, I guess, mount for the wheel. In the past, I've just gone ahead and uh, used the... the uh, the front forks of the bike. Um, this time I'm going to go ahead and just build a new frame for it. Um, so that'll be the next step. Okay, now we went ahead and just made this bracket 
like I showed you before. Pretty simple, really. Um, wanted to make it this way. That way you could see that there's no motors or anything going on. Because I know that was a concern before. And now this will be able to hold it. So from the front, you'll be able to see absolutely everything going on. No, uh, no crossbar going uh, in the way in the front. So for the bottles this time, decided to go with these nice um, sparkling water bottles. Uh, they seem to be about the right size. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and use a bunch of these. My next step is going to be to boil um, water, uh, dissolve a whole bunch of salt in it to make the water extra dense and heavy. And then we will be adding in um, some food coloring to the water and taking off these labels. All right, so here we are. I have the bottles filled with the um, food uh, dyed, food coloring dyed uh, salt water solution. And then I just zip tied them to every other spoke on the bike wheel here. Uh, there's a total of 20 spokes uh, since I did every other. It's a total of 10 bottles. All right, well that's it. That's the uh, completed overbalanced wheel. If you'd like to see it in action, uh, check out my next video. Thanks for watching.